Hey guys, Mutemo, I'm back again with another video. So guys, in today's video, I'll be giving you different tips on how to start working from home as a beginner photographer. So guys, let's enjoy the video. So guys, uh, from when I started phot photography and also last year when I was a, a, let's say a beginner photographer, I was really losing so many studio clients and uh, to solve that I decided to open a home studio. Uh, the reason why I decided to start a, a home studio is because I was losing so many studio clients and um, some clients want, uh, want privacy and that's why they don't really want to do outdoor shoots and um, uh, I ended up losing them to photographers who have studios. Uh, reason number two is because uh, renting uh, studio spaces was actually very expensive and also hiring a studio was very expensive and that's another reason why I opened a home studio. Of course, I wanted to, but to diversify and also to explore more on studio shoots and that's why I started a home studio. Uh, yes, of course, uh, operating a home studio it has advantages and it disadvantages. Uh, one advantage is that, of course, I've managed to uh, save a lot of money. This is because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm living in the same area, I'm living in the same space where I'm doing my studio shoots, and of course, that saves in, in saves the money on, on like because I'm not I haven't rented a studio space and also a residential space. Of course, another one it has helped me not lose so many clients uh, as, as before because of, of course I didn't have a photography space or a studio space and of course it has helped me grow my skills in the studio uh, in the studio in the all in the indoor photography because um, most of the time I was used to I was used to doing outdoor shoots but doing studio photography of course it has really helped me grow my skills in photography, studio lighting and more and more. And of course yeah, I'm not losing clients, I'm saving money, and also I'm growing my skills. And the disadvantages of running uh, home studios because of course it's really hard to get a big space where also there's some good natural light. And also there's another disadvantage is that it's very hard to get a management that actually allows you to rent their space and also allows non-residents to visit their their, their places and of course getting a secure location is actually and also which is very accessible to your clients is actually very very hard of course the disadvantages as i've stated above is that of course to uh, getting a big space getting a secure space and also convincing the management to allow you to rent their space uh, uh, what to consider? Uh, what to consider while renting a space? Well, uh, you you have to get a very conducive space for your clients, and uh, uh, of course you have to consider water accessibility, security, and also light, guys. Uh, if you are a photographer, I'm sure you 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 really like using natural light, and light is actually a very essential thing while starting uh, a home studio. And uh, of course, guys, you have a few things to consider while starting a home studio. And uh, of course, security, uh, water, and also lighting. Lighting in a sense that you have to get a space where it, they are like the, 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 the flow of natural light and also um, a space where the lighting is actually very, very good. Uh, and of course the budget of starting a home studio is that uh, you don't need so much if you are a beginner photographer and you already have your camera you can get a background, a uh, light stand, a background stand and also either one light or two light. You can get either get, you can either get a soft, uh, of course guys uh, while starting a home studio you, you don't need to have that big budget. You can get a light, you can either get speed lights or strobes. But you can get what so much what 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 lies under your budget, but uh, what you most need you just need a camera, a uh, background, a uh, tripod, background holder, and you are good to go. And also space, and you are good to go. So that's all. That's all, guys, for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this video. So if this video inspires you to install a home studio, uh, 
I hope this video inspires you to open our studio if you are a beginner photographer. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and also see you in the next video as we give you more tips on becoming a better photographer. Peace.